Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for SrCl2 plus Na3PO4, strontium chloride and sodium phosphate. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. And this is the molecular equation. I think since I have one strontium here and three here, I'll put a three in front of the strontium chloride. Three times two, that'll give me six of these chlorides. I'm just going to put a six here. Now I have six sodiums and only three here. I'll put a two here, then two phosphates here, and then two here. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. So if you know your solubility rules, compounds with the chloride ion in general, they are soluble. And then compounds with the sodium ion, they're soluble. So all of these things are going to be aqueous. They're going to dissolve in their ions. Strontium phosphate in general, phosphates are insoluble unless it's something like sodium phosphate or another group one element like potassium phosphate. But strontium phosphate, that's insoluble. That's going to be a precipitate fall to the bottom of the test tubes when these two substances react. Now that we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is our complete ionic equation. We split up all the aqueous compounds, but the solid here, this strontium phosphate, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. We kept that together. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. I can see in the reactant six chloride ions and again in the products. These are spectator ions. We're just going to cross them out. Six sodium ions and again in the products, cross those out. What's left? That's the net ionic equation for SrCl2 plus Na3PO4. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for strontium chloride and sodium phosphate. You'll note the charge is balanced. 3 times 2 plus, that's 6 plus. 2 times 3 minus is 6 minus. So 6 plus, 6 minus, that gives us a net charge of 0 in the reactants. In the products, net charge is 0 since this is a neutral compound. Charge is balanced, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for strontium chloride plus sodium phosphate. Thanks for watching.